Oh my god. You scared the shit out of me. What are you doing? Uh. Oh. What am I? Uh. I know I haven't come to work for months. But I would appreciate some uh, happy uh, demeanor from your part. No, you should not be mad at me, even if you're the one that bosses me around. I am perfectly capable of, well, existing outside of work, send up my vacations, but you could still listen to me. My orders are still there, you know. What am I talking about? I don't know. Well, don't mind that. Um, either way. Uh, I'm sorry. Right. You forgive me, right? Okay, then we're all good. Uh, so, I would like to start working again. It's not gonna be that e Please, I just wanna go back to my normal life, normal routine, you know? Why not? Ugh, okay. Uh, tell you what, uh, tell you what, uh... If you let me do whatever favor for you, whatever you want, um, you can maybe keep me around and working and, uh, yeah. I don't like to see you angry. Maybe you can have me around if you're not angry. Yeah. Well, I'm making a favor for you. You're the one uh, that's winning uh, around here. So, uh, yeah. If you would like me to do whatever you want uh, in exchange for nothing, just uh, my work and uh, you not looking angry then uh yeah maybe we could uh have a peaceful work environment why am i around so late um that's what i'm asking myself i just m during this uh time that i haven't been around uh, my sleeping schedule has become a complete and utter mess. So, um, yeah, I know that you're the last one in the office right now, and, uh, I'm just clocking in, but I, I hope you don't mind. I mean, we should start, re we should really start doing night shifts, you know? Right, um, you caught me. I'm just trying to defend myself. Well, sit down. Okay, I'll sit down. You don't have to speak to me with that voice. I'm already on the chair. So, uh, what is it you want to talk to me about? No, don't use that tone with me, please, I beg you. I know I haven't done good, but you haven't even heard my reasons. You just have in your head that I haven't come to work in like, uh, I lost track of months, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so... Should I explain myself? All right, then. Uh, I was busy with studies. 
Um, then I kind of fell into a depression and then I was just like, oh, well, I could eventually come back to work and uh, it didn't happen. And then um, I kept on being depressed and then I went to, I, well, I started my studies again and uh, the story repeated itself until now that i was like okay you cannot keep on hiding don't be a stupid bitch so um that's why i'm here i mean you should be proud i face my demons <laughs> right um uh, uh i mean not that the demons aren't there still but um i could um just pretend not to look at them and just keep on working i don't know i'm amazed you guys haven't even fired me i mean i know that's because you're the boss and i clearly appreciate it again if you need anything from me you can just ask and i'll do it i, I know uh I'm just putting up excuses, but they're not really excuses, they're just the truth. Um, it would be worse if I were to put an excuse of like, oh no, I was kidnapped for all of these months, or I was um, in space, I was in the Maldives, I don't know, something. Uh, I was kidnapped into, I was kidnapped into Area 51. Whatever. I'm not good at making excuses. See, so that's why I'm just telling you the truth. Uh, well, uh, at least you've you believe me in that part, right? Cool. Um, again, please, if I can do anything for you, just just tell me. Please just tell me. I... I want to feel useful. Yeah, I mean, I've just felt that I've been laying around in my own house, not doing anything, not putting in work for anything, just playing video games. I started stopping my studies because... This works. Pay, this work pays me well, and um, I'd rather just keep on pursuing what I like, which is this job and you. Oh, no! Please don't blush. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Um, you're my boss, but I also highly respect you as a person, and. Uh, I don't know, I like working with you, I like talking to you, and I like... I like the fact that I came in late, if it was to be just alone with you. Uh, this is a pretty chill job, it's the right type for me, and uh, I don't know, I just... Um, um, enjoying the workplace. And I feel that you're the one that makes it uh, the workplace that it is. It's peaceful. It's chill, fun to be around. So, yeah. Thank you, really. No, you, you make a, an awesome job. I'm sorry you have to deal with employees like me. I promise I'll try my best to stay around. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, did I make the conversation awkward? Uh, please, uh, if you would like me to leave, I could leave you alone. Yeah, dude. 
what I said was completely true. I mean, why would I lie to you again? <laughs> like, I haven't lied to you. I don't know how to lie. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think you're a pretty neat boss. And you'll get to be big. If you want to get rid of people like me, I completely understand it. I mean, I didn't bring anything to the company in like these last months. And I clearly do need help, but it's hard to get it sometimes, you know? Yeah. One thing you should do is that to prevent people like me to appear in your company, you should probably hire a psychologist of a sort of a sort. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm not in a place of uh, commenting about your work politics on who you hire or not, but uh, I kind of am because I think I'm the living example of what would happen. So, uh, yeah. Still makes me happy to see you. Um, really joyful. I, I get to spend this time with you and that you don't seem to want to fire me. <laughs> yeah, because outside of work and all, you're a pretty good friend. I like having such an approachable boss and I like that I can talk to you, so chill. So, yeah, thank you for that. Again, you're a pretty neat dude. <laughs> so, um, I don't see what I can do right now, so if you want, I can come to work tomorrow and we'll figure things out. Again, I'm sorry, and... Oh, you hired a psychologist? Great. Now I know why, why I'll come to work often, because <laughs> I clearly need that. So, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, should I go? Oh. Okay, we could keep talking for a while. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> no one really appreciated my fashion, <laughs> my hair. If you think it's cool, how I prepared myself for today, <laughs> then, uh, yeah, I think I did well then. You're looking pretty handsome too, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I have a question for you. I know you're my boss, and you should have the upper hand at everything, but how come you cannot look at me in the eye? I don't know if I just noticed that you always seem to wonder when it comes to your eyes, they don't really look at me. They just kind of glide away. <laughs> you just look at me for like a minuscule second and then you just don't. You're just looking at something else. Yeah, I don't think I haven't noticed. I'm pretty analytic myself. That's why you gave me this job. <laughs> well, what is it? Lowering your head won't make any difference. Okay, I, I know that you think I'm handsome because <laughs> you just said it and I do appreciate it and I do think that you're handsome too, but 
you're not making your point pass by my head. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, so it is that. You think I'm attractive. I'm attractive. That's another thing. Attractive. I see. Come here. Come here. Sit by my side. I do think you're attractive too. <laughs> yeah, I can stop looking at you. That's why I notice every detail. It's just... I keep on and on looking at your face, your demeanor. It's so... hypnotizing. And... Kind Kind of the reason why I didn't came here. So I just found you strangely wandering up in my head and I didn't know what it was. I I just saw it. I was going crazy. I could not get you out of my head. Why are you so red? I just gave some kisses on your cheek. It's nothing. We're friends. Apart from Boz and Worker. <laughs> hmm. You like me, right? You know what? I do believe I like you too. And I think what's been so hard is that I didn't come back because I thought I wouldn't be good enough for you. I thought I would be just a waste. And why am I even doing this? Be it for you or for me, what's the whole point? But then I remembered, I enjoy being with you. Now I enjoy you doing this, so might as well face the fear. And come back. So that's why I'm here. I'm queer. And I like you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I needed to make that joke. You know what? It's late. And we should definitely get out of here. Because we're the only ones here. But I'm going to take this time that I'm just laughing being all happy-go-lucky because I'm really nervous, <laughs> I'm gonna take advantage of this mood and ask you, would you go on a date with me tonight? Yes! Alright. I'm truly happy now. Let's go. You have absolutely no idea how happy it makes me to be your valentine today.